Good evening, thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 11th day of January 2024, I am chair my first of my deadlines. Supreme Court affirms Eno as a Kwaibom governor. On by-elections, INEF opens application portal for observers. Man sentenced to death by hanging for murder in Niger. We we'll take a moment to wrap up the details and many more. Stay connected. experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation leading the way in high performance lubricants master supermodel oil is as durable as titanium Welcome back now to details. The Supreme Court will deliver judgment in seven governorship appeal on Friday, January 12, 2024, beginning from 9 a.m. The states are Lagos, Kano, Zamfara, Plateau, Ebony, Bauchi, and Cross River. Late December, the Apex Court reserved judgment in the appeal filed by the Kano State Governor, Abba Yusuf, challenging the verdicts of the Court of Appeal and the State Election Petitions Tribunal which removed him from office. The Supreme Court has affirmed the election of Umo Eno of the People's Democratic Party PDP as the validly elected governor of Aquaibom State after dismissing the appeals of the three parties challenging the outcome of the election held on March 18, 2023. This comes after the Apex Court panel led by Justice Owani Abba Aji dismiss the appeals of the All Progressives Congress APC, Young Progressives Party YPP and the Action Alliance AC based on the non-qualification of the governor over allegations of certificate forgery which the governor denied. The Court of Appeal had upheld the judgment dismissing the suit challenging the primary that produced Omar Eno as the PDP candidate for the states. Operatives of the Port Accord Zonal Command of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, have commenced investigations into the activities of eight suspected oil thieves in Port Accord River states. This was disclosed in a statement on the official X handle of EFCC on Thursday. According to the statement, the investigation follows the handover of the oil tapes to the EFCC by the Nigerian Navy Ford Operating Base, Akayama Road, Boni Island, Port Accord, on Wednesday, January 10th. A 30-year-old man, Daba Ishaka, has been arrested by operatives of Ametokon in Ocean State for the alleged defiance of a 9-year-old girl. The arrest of Ishaka, who was nabbed in Ada on Tuesday, was made known by the Oshun Ametokun Corps Commander, Brigadier General Bashu Adawimbi, while addressing journalists on Thursday in Oshobo. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has invited civil society organizations and non governmental organizations interested in observing the February rerun and by-election to apply via an online portal on or before January 17th. INEC said this in a notice issued on its acting director, Electoral Party Monitoring Mrs. Hawa Habib in Abuja on Thursday. Labour Party Chieftain Kenneth Okonkwo says Doyen Okupe left the party when he resigned as the director general of the peter obi presidential campaign in december 2022 okupe first resigned as obi's campaign director general in 2022 after a court found him guilty of money laundering he later resigned as a member of the labor party on january 8 2024 citing ideological differences the 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, says President Paula Tinubu must ensure that those culpable in the alleged scandal involving the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation are brought to book. Obi said in a write-up in his ex-handle platform on Thursday that the government should go beyond the suspension of the minister 
which he described as a work on development and carry out a comprehensive investigation into the matter. A member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Dano Bwala, was at the presidential villa on Wednesday where he met with President Bola Tinibu and pledged his total support for him. After the meeting with President Tinibu, Bwala, who was a spokesperson for Atiku Abubakar in the 2023 presidential election, told the state's house correspondent that he came on the invitation of the president. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, arrested 477 suspected drug peddlers and users in Jigawa State. State Commandant Muazu Aliu Damusa stated this in an interview with newsmen on the command's achievements during the year 2023. He said the arrest followed rigorous operations conducted across the 27 local government areas to curtail the issue of drug abuse and trafficking. The federal government has said that it would soon conclude plans with the government of Abu Dhabi and the United Arab Emirates to supply the Gulf Kingdom with 14,000 qualified artisans from Nigeria. The Director General of the Industrial Training Fund, Afiz Uluwatoyin, said this on Wednesday in Abuja at a stakeholders meeting with associations of artisans and people in the hospitality and tourism industry. Tunde Tayo, a resident of Angwan Roka, my Tumbi in Mina has been sentenced to death by hanging for his involvement in the gruesome murder of a commercial motorcyclist in Niger State. The presiding judge, Justice Mohammed Mohammed Adishetu, delivered the verdict on Wednesday after a meticulous two hour long trial at Mina High Court for violent sports. Liverpool forward Cody Gapo has urged his teammates to maintain their strong winning mentality ahead of the second. Recall that Liverpool defeated Fulham 2-1 on Wednesday in the first leg semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Gapo, who netted the match-winning goal, told Sky Sports that the team must maintain their winning mentality. And that sports news brings us to the end of the news at 8. Before we go, a recap of our major headlines. Supreme Court affirms Eno as Aquibum State Governor. On by-elections, INEC opens application portal for observers. Man sentenced to death by hanging for murder in Niger State. For these and many more, look on our website at www.abntv.com.ng. You can also follow us on any of our social media platforms to your screen. Have a lovely night rest. I am Kinyo Mahe.